Hello everybody and welcome! As you may already be aware of, SpaceX has successfully launched its massive Falcon Heavy rocket for the second time. This in itself would be a special occasion, but it is even more remarkable when you think about what they managed to achieve this time around. They got the payload, Arabsat 6A, into its designated geostationary orbit, so they succeeded with their first commercial launch for the Falcon Heavy. This is of course something other launch providers could do as well, but there's a few things so far only SpaceX can accomplish. They landed both side boosters, which is truly a sight to behold. I mean, look at this, how cool is that? There's also fantastic footage of the landing by Kerbal Space Academy. Go visit them and watch their video. I'll link to it in the description and in the gizmo in the upper right hand corner. Now, I know SpaceX already managed to do this with the test flight of Falcon Heavy in 2019, but still. This is awesome, but that's not what made this launch so remarkable. Because SpaceX managed to pull off two world firsts. In addition to the side boosters, they also managed to land the core booster, which landed further down range on their drone ship, of course I still love you, than any other booster before. This is testament to the increased capability of the Block 5 boosters compared to the first Falcon Heavy launch that still used the Block 4 design. So yeah, full booster recovery for a super heavy lift vehicle. And, and this has also never happened before, they managed to recover the fairings as SpaceX founder Elon Musk reported on Twitter. Apparently they still were not able to catch them in flight with that ridiculous net contraption, but they managed to extract them quickly enough from the water so that they can reuse them again. So imagine that, SpaceX will be able to reuse all three boosters and the fairings for their next Falcon Heavy flight. This is going to be in a few months already. The mission slated for June this year goes by the name STP-2 and is a so-called rideshare mission. It will consist of 25 small spacecraft that will have to be delivered not only into one, but many different orbits. One of them is going to be a solar sail experiment called Light Sail 2. It is supposed to unfoil a sail with an area of 32 square meters. That's not even one tenth of the size of a basketball court, but the developers hope that it is enough to increase the spacecraft's acceleration by up to one kilometer per day. Another part of the payload is going to be the Deep Space Atomic Clock developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It weighs only 17.5 kilograms and could fit into a backpack, but will be crucial to provide precise navigation data for future missions into deep space. So yes, there's a lot of crucial equipment that people are going to entrust SpaceX with to get safely into space. This made the launch of Arabsat 6A even more vital to increase confidence in the Falcon Heavy vehicle. All of this makes a little anecdote by Ars Technica space specialist Eric Berger even funnier than it already was. Back in 2014, people responsible for the SLS told him to not trust in any rocket with 10 or more engines. Well, I don't think the SLS people are still scoffing at the Falcon Heavy now. And I think that fear of many engines harkens back to the ill-fated Russian N1 moon rocket that sported 30 NK-15 engines on the first stage. But a lot has changed in the 50 years since the first attempt to fly the N1. There have been huge improvements in manufacturing, in the quality of components, but especially in the capability of electronics and control software to correctly keep that many engines flying safe. SpaceX has proven again, that such a beast of a rocket is nowadays safe to fly even with 27 Merlin engines on the first stage. It would be nice if the SLS people woke up and realized it's no longer 1969. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.